Yo guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna show you my pull workout, which is actually, actually one workout I do every week. So we're gonna do back and biceps and some rear delt action and I'm gonna walk you through every exercise that I do, how many sets I do, how many reps I do. Uh, I will talk about the form, the execution, what's important, every tip, every advice I could possibly give you. I will do that today in this video. So let's go and follow me. Okay guys, let's start with the first exercise. Gonna do pullovers with the rope. Um, make sure that you arch your back, uh, stick out your butt, and really pull from your lats all the way down. Really feel the contraction and squeeze right here. I like to start with this exercise because it gives me a nice pump, gets the blood flow flowing, and I'm gonna do like 20 to 25 reps in two sets. So guys, second exercise I like to do in my back workouts is a lat pull down. I prefer lat pull downs rather than pull ups because I just feel the contraction a lot better in my lats. Uh, here we use the mat grip. Um, the good thing with this grip is that you kind of through the way you hold it, you isolate your biceps. So you pull a lot more with your lats actually and with your back. You can really isolate your biceps. Yeah, that's why I like to use this grip. If you don't have it, don't worry, you can use a normal bar as well. Um, but let me show you how to do that. So, basically you're gonna sit down and don't do the mistake most guys do. They lean back and they pull in their traps and their biceps, whatever. Do that shit wrong. Try to sit very straight, upright, and try to really pull down from your lats, pull down from your back. And how do you do that? You achieve that by like pulling down the first few centimeters, the first few inches, you just pull down your, your uh, your shoulder blades. You pull down your shoulder blades actually. <laughs> That's how it is bro. You pull your shoulder blades towards your ass like this and then you pull from your back all the way down and you stay upright. You don't go here. You stay in this position and then you go back up again. Really fully extend. Go into the stretch and then repeat the movement. Don't forget to breathe bro. It's important. And do like three sets um, and 12 to 15 reps. Yeah, this is how it should look like. Um, trust me guys, if you really make an effort in trying to use this kind of form that I just showed you with the details, like pulling your shoulder blades down, uh, sitting upright, sitting straight, having your, your whole body in order and not like swinging and using too much weight, whatever, you're really gonna feel a difference. Like my first two years of lifting, I didn't build or develop my back at all because uh, I did this exercise wrong. I did pull-ups wrong, I did lat pull-downs wrong, um, but ever since I started doing them right, yeah, my back was growing and I made some changes, some major changes, so this is like my best tip for you with this exercise. Bro, you might be wondering what I'm drinking here because this water obviously doesn't look clear. I put in one uh, 
one lemon. I squeezed one lemon into the water. It just gives you a whole another level of energy throughout your training. That's also what Arnold Schwarzenegger did back in the days. I always put a lemon into the water. This is kind of like my intro workout. So give this a try. Okay guys, next up are rows um, for the thickness of your back. So we want to get that nice depth, depth and thickness in the back. Um, so that's where we start off with the lat pull down to get like the V taper and now we're going to work on the thickness. Um, so what you're going to do here, I like to use this grip, it's very tight, um, it's narrow and then you're going to go like for the first rep, like before I get into my uh, position, I'm going to take the weight out, like lean back, move forward. This way I don't use any muscles really to get into that position. When I sit upright, I pull towards my belly button, pull my elbows back and go into the stretch again. And a pro tip for you is to um, like have a little movement in your wrists like this when you are at the, at the top. So it looks like basically like this. You see, like with my wrists, it's like that to get the ultimate contraction. And with this exercise, I usually do three sets and usually I do a little bit more weight and then I do like um, eight to 12 reps. Sometimes I go like do heavier weight, do only eight reps. Other days I do a little bit lighter weight and do like 12 reps, sometimes even 15 reps. Really depends. I would definitely recommend you to do like three sets and eight to 12 reps. So check that out. Yo guys, just met Sebastian here at the Hi. Muscle Factory. Uh, as you can see, he's a pretty huge guy and obviously he's competing. So Sebastian, tell us a bit about you. When is your next competition? Hi, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Yeah, my next competition. Uh, at the moment, I don't know because it's my first time. I don't prepare for a competition because I prepare for FIBO in Germany. And so maybe if the shape is good at the FIBO, Maybe I will do the next competition in May. It will be the Arnold Classic in South Africa. But I don't know. I don't know at the moment. Awesome, awesome. And what is what is your ultimate goal? Like you said, Arnold Classics in South Africa. What's your like end goal? Where do you see yourself like with competition, with competing, with your career? I always try to to see my steps realistic. So my next step will be. I, I try to get the place one to three at the Arnold Classic. I try to win the Arnold Classic and that's also a really high goal for me. And yes, but yeah, that's maybe my next goal in competition related. Great, awesome. So give us a little showdown of your poses right here. <laughs> Shredded. I mean, look at the veins. So I have five days of food poison after me, uh, so it's my first day. But it looks really pumped, you know, it's, all, it's only about because I eat yesterday a lot of banana, a lot of oats, a lot of salty soup to get yeah, my stomach back into a good mood and now it's uh, look a little bit pumped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep pumping guys, keep pushing and yeah, follow him. He's a good also guy. follow Sebastian too and as he just said if you want to look like if you want to get the ultimate pump go get a food poisoning and eat salty shit. <laughs> yeah. Go out, go out to the streets in Bangkok, eat all the street food and I promise you tomorrow you will have the food poison. <laughs> food poison <and> pump. <laughs> <laughs> okay next up guys for rear delts we're gonna do face pulls like seated like this so you're gonna sit on the floor actually you're gonna use the rope and then you're going to pull towards your face, open up and pull over your head all the way back and go back down again. That's how the movement looks like and try to sit upright. Don't lean too much like to the back or too forward. Try to sit like here. I really have a nice contraction.
So guys, after three back exercises, one rear delt exercise, we're gonna move on to biceps, where I'm gonna do two exercises for biceps. So in total, I have six exercises for my pull workout. Just a little insight. Um, for biceps, we're gonna start with the supinated biceps curls, and then we're gonna move on to the hammer curls. So we build our biceps proportionally. This is the key word right here, proportion. So, let's go and do some biceps curls. Uh, let's do some curls for the girls right here. Uh, curls for the guys actually. So what you're gonna do is you stand straight, you have your neck in a straight position, your chest is upwards, and then you're gonna really curl your, your biceps, just like that. And you don't, please don't do me a favor and don't do like this, like this is what most guys do, they work with their shoulder actually, but you really isolate your shoulder, you stand straight, pull your shoulder blades back and really curl and supinate. Supinate basically means that you have this twist right here. You see this? This is the supinated movement. This is the one you want to have. This is really nice. It's dynamic and just get a good contraction in your biceps. So, uh, next up, right away, we can do a superset right here, guys. It's uh, hammer curls. So, uh, two options we could go right here now. So, first option is like the rope. I like to do the rope, actually. We have like this grip. It's a pronated grip. Like, always remember, like, this is supinated, this is pronation, pronated grip. So, we have like the pronated grip, and this way, gonna target this part of your arm of your biceps kind of the outer part and here you can just go like this and when you do that exercise imagine you have like a like a nut right here that you want to crack so you have a nut here and you want to crack that nut so you really try to mm, squeeze as hard as you can so this one variety we could go for using two arms at the same time or we do single handed single arm movement so you're gonna go here and do it only one arm at a time. You can also do this. It's a kind of different contraction. I simply switch it up every workout. Sometimes I do single, uh, single arm hammer curls like that. Sometimes I do both arms at the same time. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I tried to show you as much as I can with my pull workout. Uh, if you have any recommendations, any feedback, please make sure to put it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. And yeah, see you guys later.